Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Reese, aka Bishop. You can call me either or I honestly don't mind. Now today. I might just be embarrassing myself on the World Wide Web. However, comma. I said to myself, I'm committed to creating content. Content creating. Either or you get what I'm saying. So um Look, my ex was even itching me because <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed. No, I lied. I'm not embarrassed. But <sighs> it's, it's, it's peak underneath this bonnet. I can't lie. So um, if you didn't guess by the title, I'm going to be taking down two month old braids, light wig braids. To be honest, it's not exactly two months in two days it'll be two months because it is currently like quarter to eight in the morning i finish work at 7 a.m and i'm home and to keep myself awake i'm finna do my hair you see the logic anyway enough of my rambling let's get to the nitty gritty and the dusty and crusty you know so yeah, I'm, I'm not even ready to look at myself with this, with this on my head. So yeah, let's just tear off the band-aid. Is my armpit shaved? Oh, if they're not magic business, women grow hair it is what it is. So, <laughs> I like a flipping egg. But yeah, so, ah, drum roll, please. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. If it's flaky and crispy, don't judge me, okay? I... Where's my pines? <laughs> Where are my pines? Even the braids is lifting off my head. Where are the pines? Look at this. That's nuts. That's actually nuts. All right. So now my braids are, I think it's on my elastic band. My elastic bands are still on the ends as well. Anyway, so my braids are out. You know, I'm just bald heading out here. So the best way to, not the hair shedding already. The best way to do this with minimal shedding and snagging and breakage and optimum length retention is hear me out take your time if you don't take your time and you rush it you're just gonna be pulling out strands left right and center you're gonna get shedding in my case i'm gonna get a lot because i have a lot of hair i've got long hair and i've left it a long time since i've brushed and came brushed and combed my hair as you can see like it, it's really, this is only, is it, did I say six weeks? Six or eight weeks? I think it's six weeks. Like, all I do is just grease my scalp. Like, this is actually mad. I can feel that when I'm pulling it, some parts are a bit matted. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to be pulling and tugging because that's breakage. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to stick my head under the tap, like the shower head shower head for this one because there's no way i can use a spray ball and it's going to penetrate and then i put like um one of these kind of moisture pack things one is intensive hydration mask <coughs> excuse me see my hair's dusty i'm allergic to dust i got this in my treasure tress box I don't know if I'm going to use that because we know how we feel about Shea Moisture. I'm not me flinging it like that. But this one's a new length retention biotin pack. Uh, created for all curl patterns and textures plus biotin. And that makes your hair grow. Not that clearly. I don't need any more hair growth. But it says length retention so I'm probably going to use this one. So I'm going to wet my hair. 
put this on top of my braids and work it through my braids let it sit for a bit i've got a hooded dryer i'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna get into the nitty gritty okay okay so i'm back my hair is wet it was wet as as wet as i could get it um i'm gonna use this one i don't know if i said oh baby i'm on a time crunch i got things to do today you know what i'm saying oh this smells nice what is it oh just cocoa butter and biotin well anyway like i said i don't have time just gonna slap it on there oh my goodness gracious Oh, and she's thick too. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, my scalp is finally wet. After all of this, let me get the front because all the wigs and stuff I've been wearing, all the gel and that is at the front of my headpiece. Why am I breathing so heavy? Oh my goodness. I've got a block nose. Let me put this on a chair. I'm just trying to mess up my chair. This is ridiculous. This. <laughs> okay. Ooh, some of my hair is coming out already. All right. I don't know whether to use gloves or not. Gotta get them urges. And since they touch my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether to use gloves or not. Like, my hair doesn't f feel or seem dirty. But. <laughs> but mess around and find out all right so mum has had this hair dryer i think since the 80s like it's older than me but don't 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 fault 80s technology you know like that ish works but yeah i'm gonna go find myself a clear shower cap slap it on and then put this on for like five minutes and hopefully it will like get in there and loosen up the things little piece you know i'm nice in it little piece I don't know why I pull such ugly faces and then put myself on the internet, but here we are. So yeah, couldn't find a um, shower cap, so I just put plastic bag on. I hope it works. <laughs> All right, so this is like fifteen minutes later. Oh, it slips out so easily, and you know what? I have like 10 tail combs, rat tail combs, and I cannot find them, any of them. So this is gonna be like a long process. Okay. Okay, we got this. <laughs> Let's speed it up and see what's going on. So I'm rewatching Narcos. I forgot that I had that playing. But I've almost done half of my head. I've got one more camera and then it's halfway. Bro, it's taking so long, my hair's almost dry. It's only moistened because it's got the conditioner in it. And baby, these roots are thick, okay? 
and a little bit crispy. <sighs> Do you know what? Yeah. Whenever I have wig braids and I leave them and the regrowth at the top, like the, the top, lawn, the roots, I can only imagine what you relaxed girlies go through because the way the root is tangling, tangling, tangling. Oh. Oh. Still sounds a bit crispy, but. Oh, couple snacks. You girl got some split hairs, man. All right. I look at my brush and I've almost done half. I've, to be honest, apart from like one, two, like pieces of sprockets like this, I don't even know if you can see, like literally some fine hairs. That's what's in my brush is all that's come out in six weeks or two months or I can't remember if I said six weeks or two months because to be quite frank with y'all, I don't know if it has, I don't know how long I've had these in. <laughs> it could very well be longer. I think it's six weeks though. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna come back. Oh, my ex missed thing, I should have wore gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna come back when I'm on the like, the last one or two. So, so far, oh, this is all the hair that I lost that was on the floor. And then the rest is still very much in the brush. It's not as much as I thought it would be. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show the full <laughs> hair loss, hair shedding amount when I'm done. But yeah, my hands are so dirty. This is so bad. So I'm going to wash my hair and I'll be back when I'm blow drying. So yeah, now my hair is blow dried. Um, it's looking okay. Like, I cut some of it off when it was, I don't know if you can see. Anyway, I can't see, but whatever. I cut some of it when it was wet. It ends with looking a little scraggly. So um, when it's straightened, I'll do a proper trim because obviously I can't see when it's fuzzy. Plus I'm next to a black background. So I'll have to stand like against my wall or something. I'm not professional, so I'm not going to show you how I trim my hair. I just do this, and if it's split, I cut it. You know what I mean? Like, there's no point in holding on to dead ends. You know, they go up and they fester, and then their hair drop out. And next minute, you've got no edges. And we don't want that now, do we? First of all, I'm hot, so let's just do this for now. I just put my hair up in a bun, in a clip. And now I'm going to show you how I blow dry my hair. Do you know what? This is what happens when you don't do your hair for like two months. My hair was just looking a bit crazy. I'm surprised. I didn't think I would have edges. But my edges are quite full still. So, praise God. Um. So yeah, let me let this biff down. So to blow dry my hair, all you need is a paddle brush. A blow dryer with a concentrator nozzle. I don't like the one that's still a bit hot i don't like the ones with the combs on it because they snag and stuff so anyway my hair was in fours when i came out of the shower uh, so as you can see it's half a pint so let me just 
split this and show you what I do because I can't be saying how to silk press without showing you the basis, basic steps. Just pretend this is split into two. So this is like one section. Obviously it's blow dried, so Whew. my neck back is hot. But yeah, so if, I'm, if it doesn't look like I'm looking directly at the camera, it's because my mirror is behind. So I'm trying to look at myself. But yeah, so it's pretend this is curly, it's all detangled. And I just go like this with the blow dry. I stretch it, like tension, not pull it so your head tight, but tension, blow dry. Oh, first heat protector. My heat protector's right there. I use the Chi. Chi. The Chi Iron Guard. I had to read it. I put it on. Uh, oh, not me tensioned in the sense. I put it on high speed, medium heat. Yeah, high speed, medium heat, tension. And then, and then when I let go, um, usually it kind of stays kind of straight. Plus, I don't blow dry my hair straight away. That's a good tip. Don't, as soon as you get out of the shower and it's sopping wet, towel dry it, split it into the four sections, plait, cane row, twist, whatever your preference is. If you can't, if you can't do it, just bantu knot it or put some clips like this. Let it air dry for a bit. Go about your business, put some washing on, eat, have a cup of tea, do you know what I mean? And then when you come back, because then there's less heat on your hair, you see what I'm saying? I said no heat damage. I didn't say it was going to be quick. I said no heat damage. So yeah, so once you've, once you've done the blow drying and then you get the powder brush and then you just do exactly how you saw me doing until... I don't like mine dead straight. I can get it straighter, but I just don't like hair that's like stuck. I like it with some body, with some texture is the word so yeah obviously when i straighten it it will go straight but it will have body at the roots because my roots they're straight now <sighs> but give it 2.5 seconds they'll be praising the lord but yeah so that's that and then i just do my hair one section at a time so that size clipped up split this into two and then you just do one section at a time. You feel me? So I'll be back when I've done at least one section because I got a lot of hair and it's going to take a long time. Okay? So I'll see you lot in a minute. At least when I'm on the other side, I think. I'll come back. shouldn't even be using these clips but it's whatevs
Girl, she is done. Bruh, I'm done. <sighs> oh, not the knots. This side isn't as straight as this side, but whatever. Let me put this down. Oh, that means it's off. So, yeah. Oh my days. My hair is getting back to the thickness it was prior to getting sick. Excuse my squeaky chair. It doesn't feel like. Basically, yeah. Thing. But yeah, I feel like I did all of that for no reason because the straighteners weren't hot enough, so my hair's just looking uh, yeah, a little crazy. Like my edges, I don't do my edges when I straighten my hair because there's no point. I guess you live and you learn. When I wrap it, I'll see what it looks like when I let it down. But yeah, guys, if I wrap it and let it down, I will add the clips to the end of the video all right so i've had to put my towel there because every time i turned around to try and look to see how long or how my hair was i couldn't see because my chest and drawers is black so let me turn around and show you guys it's a bit puffy though because the um my straighteners aren't as hot as they like no i didn't have them as hot as i usually straighten my hair so i usually straighten my hair like 190 and I think I just showed you guys my straighteners. Let me just show you. So yeah, I usually have my straight, I usually straighten my hair like 190. And my straighteners have this funny like number increments. I don't know if that was blurry or in focus, I couldn't see. I don't have my eyes in or on. Um, but it goes like 150 and then 180 and then 210. But if I straighten my hair on 190, 210 is a little bit too, like 20 degrees. Do you know how hot 20 degrees is? Like we're out in t-shirts in 20 degrees in London when it's a hot day. So I'm not trying to get heat damage. I'm already trying to grow my hair back because I caught the vid and I feel bald headed because I keep cutting my hair to get rid of the damage it did. Anyway, um, so yeah, here's the what it looks like. Ah, we fell down. Here's what it looks like. Um, straighten is getting thicker I know probably towards the end because I've got a light t-shirt on you guys can probably see that it's a bit patchy patchy but I find it's just at waist length I have a short torso so if anyone says that's not waist length it's my waist length so yeah this is what it looks like from behind I'm finna wrap it excuse me I'm gonna wrap it and yeah this was a mission like today it was a mission like i said i like body and texture and the way my hair is after a couple of days it will settle anyway so in the next couple of videos you will actually see how my hair progresses now i don't add heat for as long as you're going to see my hair like this i don't add heat to my hair the only thing i may do if i want a sleek kind of look i may like because i didn't straight i didn't straighten my edges whatever blow drying i did is that's how it is so um my kitchen is defo chatting rubbish. I can feel it. But yeah, um, I may just run a hot comb through the edges and um, just to have like a sleeker kind of look. But other than that, this is literally how I'd have my hair. Um, I usually wrap it for the first few days, maybe a week. And then when it starts to get a bit old, I'll put like Velcro rollers in it, get a little body, yaddy, yaddy. Not that it needs much more body, but yeah and um hmm. why am i out of breath things have to carry on you know we got to keep it moving some way shape or form because if we stopped at every inconvenience we wouldn't be here today now would we anyways don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i mean subscribe because i see how i can see my analytics i know i can i see you guys watching but not subscribing that's very rude it upsets my spirit but anyways, even if you don't, I will see you in the next video. Bye.
Myself. 